So, hello and welcome to another lesson. So, today we'll be talking about the naive Gaussian elimination. I'm very some people just call it the Gaussian elimination. And to make sure this concept is well understood, we will be illustrating it with an example. So, You'll be taking a look at this question here, which says, consider the following system of equations. So we have three equations. So x plus y plus z equals 2. x plus 3y plus 3z equals 0. And x plus 3y plus 6z equals 3. The question says, use Gaussian elimination to put the augmented coefficient matrix into row echelon form where the results will be in this form and we have to find the values for e b and c i hope the question is well understood all right so let's try to solve it so from the question we have these equations so this is the system, right? So we can form our coefficient matrix here and we can find our constant vector here. So our coefficient matrix A is going to be this three by three matrix, one, 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 because the coefficients of X, Y, and Z are all one here, then one, three, three, and one, three, six. And our vector B is going to be two, zero, three. So as you can see here, so now we have our coefficient matrix and we have our vector. The next thing is to form our augmented matrix. And our augmented matrix is always of this form. So it is a combination of the coefficient matrix A and the constant vector B. So that is going to give us something of this form, 1, 1, 1. So everything you can see here with the inclusion of our B vector, so that's what you can see here. So this is just a line which try to tell you that this is the coefficient matrix and this is the vector B. So after getting this, then we have to do our um, Gaussian elimination to put this augmented matrix into the root echelon form. And when you are doing our elimination process, the first thing we do is that we make sure that the leading um, coefficient which is our e11 is always one so we realize that with the particular question our e11 is one so that means we are good to go so that thing won't be necessary in this question because we already have it to be one but in a case where it wasn't one we would have have to do some divisions and multiplications to make sure it is one hope you get that the next thing we do is that we make sure that all the entries beneath our E11 are zero. So this are E11, right? And these are the entries beneath it. So we have to make sure all these entries are zero. So the only way to do that is to let R2 minus R1 be equal to our new R2 and R3 minus R1 be equal to our new R3. So what this means is that, you know, this is row 1, this is row 2, and this is row 3. So what this means is that our new row 2 will be equal to row 2 minus row 1. So that means our new row 2 is going to be here. We have 1 minus 1, which will give us 0. This will give us 3 minus 1, which will give us 2. This will give us 3 minus 1, which will give us 2. And this will give us 0 minus 2, which will give us negative 2. So this is going to be our new row 2. So you can see that here. 0, 2, 2, negative 2. So <clears throat> row 1 and our new row 2. And you are seeing our new row 3 should be equal to row 3 minus row 1. So row 3 is equal to row 3 minus row 1. So that is going to give us 1 minus 1, which is going to give us 0. And it's going to give us 3 minus 1, which is going to give us 2. 
So 1 minus 1. So it's going to be 3 minus 1, which is 2. And 6 minus 1, which is 5. And 3 minus 2, which is 1. So this is going to be our new rule 3. So I hope you can see that here, all the entries beneath our E11 are 0 now. So that's the first elimination process. And the second thing that we make sure that here when it comes to this second rule, the diagonal metric M, um, diagonal element is these two here, E22. So we make sure that we make our E221. And the only way to make our E221 is to divide through equal um, rule 2 by 2 or multiply through by half. So multiplying rule 2 through by half is going to give us 2 times half, which will give us 1. 2 times half, which will give us 1. And negative 2 times half, which will give us negative 1. So then we are going to get 1, 1, and negative 1 there. And this will still give us 0, 2, 5, and 1. The next thing we do is that we make the entry beneath our A220. So we have to make sure this thing is 0. So the only way to make sure that is 0 is that our new root 3 should be equal to root 3 minus twice of root 2. So that means our new root 3 is going to be 2 minus 2 times root 1. That will give us 0. The other part is going to be 5 minus 2 times 1. So 5 minus 2 times this 1, which will give us 3. And this will be 1 minus 2 times negative 1, which is going to give us 3. Right? So that means that our new rule 3 will be 0, 0, 3, 3. And we still have this augmented matrix. So the next thing we do is that we make sure that this our E1, 3, 3 here is 1. So the only way to do that is to multiply root 3 by 1 over 3. So multiplying root 3 by 1 over 3 is going to give us 1, 1, 1, 2, 0, 1, 1, negative 1. And now our new root 3 will be 0, 0, 1, 1. So this is going to be the augmented matrix. So the next thing to do is to make comparison with the one which was given to us in the question. So if you could recall, the one which was given to us in the question was of this form. And you can see everything is intact, right? So making comparisons, then it means our A is 2, our B is negative 1, and our C is 1. I hope you get it. So this is how we do our rule echelon operation, our Gaussian elimination to put the matrix into the rule echelon form. It is something which is very simple, okay? So... Thank you very much for watching. I wish you all the best and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much.